My name is Deanne Criswell. I'm the Commissioner for New York City Emergency Management. I uh, really appreciate the opportunity to give yet another update on this weather that's coming in. Again, this is going to be a big storm and it's going to stay with us for a while. We're going to start to see some snow come in in just a few hours, somewhere around 7 or 8 o'clock tonight. It'll be light, but then by midnight and into the morning, we're really going to start to see heavy snowfall. Could be 3 to 5 inches at the morning rush hour. And then it'll just continue to get worse throughout the day Monday. We're looking at blizzard-like conditions from about 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Um, that means that we're going to have up to 1 to 3 inches of snow per hour. We're going to have winds with gusts up to 45 to 50 miles per hour. And to be outside and especially driving is going to be extremely dangerous, if not impossible. And so we really strongly encourage everyone, please stay at home tomorrow if you don't have to go out. Even if the morning rush hour um, is, seems like it's drivable, by the time the afternoon rush hour gets here, it's going to be just as bad or even worse. And then Tuesday morning, we could still see some issues with the morning rush hour on Tuesday. So the snow will start to uh, taper off by Monday evening, but we're going to still see some snow showers going into Tuesday and through Tuesday evening. Commissioner Grayson will give an update on the specific the specifics of what uh, sanitation is going to do, but a few things that the city is doing again, we've put our tow truck task force on um, alert, not on alert, activated. And so we're gonna have a group of individuals that are working together to help remove any cars or debris that gets stranded and blocking those critical roadways, mostly so our emergency vehicles can get through. We're also going to have tow trucks pre-positioned at some of those key bridges across the area where we always see some impacts from this type of weather. Um, and then I encourage everybody, please, we really encourage you to check on your neighbors, check on your loved ones. New Yorkers do such a great job. They've done such a great job throughout the last year and through all of these events. But please check on them so they don't have to go outside um, and face the, the weather that we're about to see. Commissioner Grayson. Thank you, Commissioner Criswell. Um, the Department of Sanitation uh, has employed a split shift staffing plan for this event. We went full force beginning at 7 p.m. tonight. We will have our entire staff working two 12-hour tours. We have all 715 salt spreaders at the ready and loaded. We'll have over 2,000 plowed vehicles. Also, all chains have been attached to our heavy fleet for this type of snowfall. This is a dangerous and prolonged snowfall event, so we encourage all New Yorkers, as Commissioner Criswell said, please stay off the road, let us do our job, all right? For Monday, alternate side parking has been suspended. Uh, schools have gone remote learning. Uh, refuse and recycling collection is suspended. The Department of Sanitation will have service delays for the entirety of the snowfall event and leading into next week. So we ask that all residents, when you put out your material, just have patience, we are coming. The same men and women who pick up your refuse and recycling are the ones who come and plow the snow and work the salt spreaders for you as well. We have been out brining since yesterday. We have brined, pre-liquid treated, over 500 miles of roadway, some with more than two passes. We have also uh, pre-treated with salt some of the local streets as well in anticipation of a very, very severe snowfall event. So we ask that everyone have patience, everyone travel with care. If you have to travel, if you're a critical worker, an essential worker, a first responder, a nurse or a doctor or someone who must get in, please plan for extra travel time. Not only if you work the overnight, but especially on the morning commute into the evening commute. We will be out there. Our approach will be to take every route and every street slowly and methodically. We could see ground blizzards and whiteout conditions with some of the extreme winds and the rate of snowfall being as high as it is. So we ask for all New Yorkers to exercise, exercise extreme caution. Whether you're out there walking or however you're traversing, take extra time, plan for extra precautions, dress warmly, and if you can, stay home. Do everything you can to stay off the road and let us do our job. Thank you very much. We will begin to take questions. Uh, thank you. Good question. Our total piece count, we will have over 700 spreaders and 2,000 plowed vehicles. Additionally, tomorrow we will also pick up about another 120 plows from our other city agency partners coming from DOT, DEP, and Parks Department.
we uh, so the, the guidance we're, we're asking our the restaurants are, is to if you can consolidate, especially if you have a tented setup or if you have something that can be wind blown, you may want to consolidate your operation to the best of your ability. Um, in addition, we ask that anybody out there looking to clear snow from structures in any way, just be careful of your surroundings. Where are you putting the snow? And more importantly, have some situational awareness about where you're operating. Because again, in some of the conditions, it, not just the Department of Sanitation or other response vehicles, but there will be some vehicular traffic for people who don't stay off the road. Yes. Well, as there's always those areas of the city that are, are tougher. We would ask anybody who's living on one of those tighter residential areas, especially tonight as you start to stow away for the, for the storm, think about where you are parked in relation to the corner. If we had a little bit more turning radius, we could get in. So we're asking all residents to think about that, how, we'll, how, these, how these pieces of equipment will get around. But aside from that, we have been out already trying to pre-treat some of those tougher areas of the city to be in advance of the, the uh, snowfall. All right, folks, any other questions? Thank you very much.